Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll see how to access other people's mailbox in Microsoft 365. So friends, let's go to a lab environment and let's start our today's video demonstration. So friends, before we proceed to our lab environment, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe and please press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So friends, now we are on N65 admin center and we have one user with the name of Ritika. She is on long leave. So I want to access her, you know, mailbox. I want to monitor it. And if in case any mail is important, I want to, you know, send the send mail on behalf of her. So this is my user Ritika who is on long leave and uh, I will be granting myself the access of her mailbox. So for that, what we need to do, we will just simply, uh, you know, open the exchange admin center for that. So friends, now we are on our exchange admin center and we'll expand this recipients and we'll click on mailboxes. And if you will scroll down a little bit slightly here, this is our user with the name of Ritika. We want to, you know, access this user mailbox. So for that, we'll click on her name. And now here we'll click on delegations and delegations. As you could see, we'll get three options. Like the first option is uh, the send. The send as a permission also delegate to send an email from this mailbox to have been sent from this mailbox owner and sent on behalf of like from line you will get a from line which will indicate like uh, this message was you know sent by this user on the behalf of mailbox owner and the last option is read and manage access if you don't want to you know send email on behalf of or send as other user and you simply just want to you know read and manage the mailbox of the user you want to go through the mails and all so you can just simply click on edit and you can add the user member here whom you want to grant the access. So I will click on add member. And before adding myself as a member, if I will go back to, you know, the credentials using which I have logged in. So I will open my outlook. And here on outlook, I will just simply right click on the folders and here we get an option of add shared folder or mailbox. So I will click on this option. Now, right now I have not, you know, grant granted myself the permission to access the user mailbox, but uh, see, uh, as I'm getting, you know, the suggested contacts in the drop down menu. So if I will select Ritika and I will click on add, you could see, uh, I was able to add, you know, Ritika, but initially if I will click expand this, you will see this message like can't complete your request. You do not have permission to perform this action. So we'll click on okay. Let me remove Ritika and now again, we'll switch back to our exchange admin center. Now here I will add myself because I want to access her mailbox. Okay. My name is here. I will click on save and you could see, are you sure you want to add delegate permission for this mailbox? I will click on confirm. You can add another user as well. So you can see the message like the changes are saved and will appear within the five minutes. It will take approximately five minutes or less than that. So I will go back. You could see the one user is now has the access of read and manage of the, you know, the mailbox of the owner. Now, if you want to send email or, you know, on behalf of you can add, you can, you know, add yourself again over here. So we'll do it later on, but I will show you what exactly, you know, step by step, what all these, you know, options give you the way to manage the mailbox. So now I will come back to my outlook. Let me refresh it one more time. Let's try to add, uh, you know, Ritika's mailbox. So I will just simply again, right click on the folders, add shared folder or mailbox. Let me add her name. I will click on add. So, okay. So now we have added her name. If I will expand it, you could see I'm still getting, you don't have permission because it will take around five minutes. So, so I will pause my video for five minutes. Okay, so now as you can see, after waiting for five minutes, now I am able to access Ritika's mailbox. And these are all the emails of Ritika, which I can, you know, go through. I can access all, you know, deleted items, send items, and drafts. Now, this is now I have initially assigned myself the permission to just simply access her mailbox, but I won't be able to, you know, send email on behalf of her. So if I want to, you know, send email on behalf of her, what I just simply need to do, I will again switch back to the Exchange Admin Center. I will click on her name. I will again go to delegations and here if you want send as or send on behalf. So I will select send on behalf. I will add myself as a member. 
I will click on save. So it, it's asking you like, are you sure you want to add delegate permission for this mailbox? I will click on confirm. Again, it will take around five minutes to, you know, the changes to get applied. So now we'll go back and I will show you how I can send mail on behalf of Ritika. So friends, now we'll see how we can, you know, send email on behalf of Ritika to other user. So I will click on new. And here we are not getting option to select on whom behalf we should, you know, send it. So for that, what we need to do, if you're not getting option over here, you just simply need to click on options and just simply set, check this box of show from. So it will show, give you the option like from, like I want myself to send it or like I can select Ritika as well. So I will select Ritika and now let me, you know, send email to myself only. I will add mail to the subject and I will just simply randomly type the subject. Okay, I have entered the subject. Now I will click on send. So I will go to my inbox. If I click on it, you can see I have sent my send mail to myself from Ritika and that's how I will receive an email. So friend, that's how you can, you know, assign some other user permission to manage user mailbox and you can also assign like if you want to you know send email on behalf of that user so friends that's how we can assign user permission to access some other user mailbox and uh, we can send email on behalf of the user as well so friends let's conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video